Well, hello and welcome back to Ultra Space Stone Block 2. I know I said I would do some stuff. You would notice that I have removed my uh, Crystal Growth Accelerator and I've actually chucked a couple more of these in here. There's two separate stacks now because one of them is not quite as grown as the other one. I looked online and it said basically everything that I was doing was correct. The quartz fiber should have connected, the fluix cable should have connected, The I even put the, um, the energy acceptor directly on top and then plugged this into the energy acceptor and assumed that the energy acceptor would power the crystal growth accelerator but absolutely nothing i did would actually attach anything to this device so i kind of gave up um oh it works here so <laughs> I'd, i honestly don't know uh who cares it's it's a done deal because all we needed to do was create six of them i've made five more and uh, if you have a look at the uses of this well the, the, that right so with a couple more chests which will be performed by that wood there and then some iron we have some iron over here actually i'm dithering yes so we can go to this and then this and then this and go one one two because we need two and then we can go here and then this this and then one and then this and then this we have a crystal growth chamber which just basically shortcuts the whole problem because now if we put this on here we will find that it will just grow the crystals in fact if we Get these up, put them in here. Are you growing? Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I thought you would be powered, but maybe you are not being powered. No, this is uh, this is the advice on the internet, is just do that. I have done that. Um, let's pick this up. And instead of that, did I get my... Where's the rest of them? <laughs> Should there be more in there? Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's put this here. Still in there. Ah. Um, there, there was a seven percent by the way after all that time, so that's no good. We need uh, probably not that, just the energy acceptor to be. Honest. This might work. Yes, hurrah! Look at that go. So much easier. All I needed to do was throw some stuff into there. There was absolutely no reason for me to bother with that bit. I don't know why I picked that one up because I wanted all that to go away. Wonderful. So now we're creating pure uh, what do you call them? Which is tremendous. And also you can upgrade this with some speed if you really cared about getting those to grow a little bit quicker, which we can do. But this is now the step that we need to get to to make our ME controller, which is going to be pure fluids crystals. We've got the skystone block. We need an engineering processor, which we might as well make whilst we're waiting for that. Engineering processor is the printed engineering circuit, which is the engineering press, and a diamond, which we have all prepared already. Uh, engineering press, and a diamond, and some redstone, and silicon thing, and some... So we want the engineering press and a diamond. Yes, we have a device that can crush a diamond into the shape that we wanted to. No! I don't expect that this is likely to work in real life. I understand the concern that you have, which is that crushing a diamond into a simple, well, simple or not, into any form of engineering circuit like that seems unlikely to work. But here we are. We have finally got the engineering process, which is perfect. That is with four, eight, yep, perfect. All of that that we now have, we can make the ME controller. <gasps> Happy days. There we go. Working switchboard. Right, this I'll put there for now. Look at the glowing. You can make a whole bunch of these. And the idea of this, yeah, it has no inventory. I can't click on it. I can't do anything. Um, this controls everything else. So this is sort of a, this is the brain of the operation, if you like. Uh, we're going to plug cables into this, and then that will control everything else on our network. I believe you need this for certain operations. Uh, and I've basically just started there in case that is true. <laughs> I, don't, I honestly don't know if I needed that at this stage of the operation, but I have it. So we are going to start there. Let's put all this stuff in here, and then everything else that we don't need is going to go over here. There we go. Right. The next step of the ME system is... We, I was going to make a drive, I still will make a drive, but not just yet. Um, honestly, it's going to be a whole bunch of this, which I only have so much of. Seven of. We should make more of this. Uh, that's going to be very useful. That's a lot, but the, at least those ones are easy to make. Did I just use those? I hope. Um, 
the next step is we want an inter we want a, a, a applied what we're we looking for a terminal right yes is that not in my list of shortcuts yes here we go illuminator panel etc oh the terminal itself isn't in there. fair enough so we want to make a ideally a crafting terminal but that's just an emmy terminal with crafting this is an illuminator panel which is there we go um more quartz glass <laughs> uh, fluid terminal, nope, crafting terminal. Crafting terminal is a terminal. The terminal is an illuminated panel. An illuminated panel is all of that stuff. So we need more quartz glass. You know what? Quartz glass was easy. Quartz glass is just actual glass. Did I have a load of glass just now? There we go. Where's my glass? In there, because I just put it away. More. Good boy. Do -do -do. Quartz glass. Do -do -do. Uh, we only need three, but I would like more. And I have enough quartz powder. Let's just take some of this. Half a stack. Take it downstairs. Pulverize it. And then when we come back for it, we'll know it's there. I heard a noise that is not a noise that I should be hearing. I didn't put it in my inventory. This happens too often. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. What did you get up there? F7. Where did you spawn? There's nowhere for you to spawn. The only thing I can imagine is that you escaped your confines. Yeah, you're hurt. So, you probably ran away from the thingy over there, which means we need a way to stop. Oh, yeah. You're dead. <laughs> stop making noises when you're dead. We need a way to stop Enderman from teleporting away from there. Oh, look, we finally got an Ender Pearl. What we needed. Go to that. And let's just open this. Everyone likes opening loot crates. It is stuff I hate. Great. Uh, go away. Thank you. Now, what was I doing? I was crushing that quartz for a reason, because we need more of this. But right now, we don't. So we need a crafting terminal, which is going to be a normal terminal, which is going to be an illuminator panel, which is going to be some glowstone. And again, when we have got all this set up, we will just ask the system for this stuff. Don't need that much, but that's Terminal, da, 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 da. and then we're also going to need a calculation processor, which makes sense. I'm glad I made some more of those. The calculation processor is uh, uh, pure certus quartz crystal, which we have. We actually have. Uh, no, don't. Just pure certus. What? That's a new one. Uh, oh, nope. I did it wrong. This one. This one. Uh, certus quartz seed. Certus quartz dust and sand. Wait, what? Oh. Well, we can do that, can't we? Because we have left our sand behind, but that's okay. Did I just put all my dust away? No, there's some. I want this and this. And then we can just shove this in here, I expect. Yeah, that's working. No worries. Um, Meanwhile, we should be able to make... We have a, a terminal terminal, which is fine, because if we whack this on here... That's interesting. <laughs> Didn't expect that to happen. Placed in the wrong way. Um, basically, this is how it works. You have as many cables as you want going from your controller to the things that you're doing. And you put the panel on the thing that you're doing, which is not the one I wanted. Is doing the wrong thing. This on here. And now we have access to our ME system. There's nothing in our ME system. Why? Because we haven't actually attached it to anything else. For example, we need to get a cable from there. To there. This is why we need better um, access panels in our world. So let's do this. This is the sort of thing I would normally do off camera, but for now you get to see me doing it on camera. I'm hoping that this is now correct. Should soon see the hole that we just made. A hole? Where is it? Should be right there. Ah, Aha, it's three levels up. Our access hatch. Three tall. And it always should be three tall because if you don't make it three tall, you're going to have a bad time. You're not going to be able to get underneath the cables that you've run, basically. Um, nice. So this is going to go here. Then... I don't know. 
I guess what we should do is bring it down the wall, right? Because one thing we are going to want to do is have it down there at some point. You. So that was a good job. <laughs> well done, me. Uh, that's basically where I wanted it to be. I just didn't realize I was actually going to fall down the hole. So there we go. Back down. Be able to, I'd like to be able to fly, which I can do if I right click. Leave my air charm. The air charm will help out a lot here. I don't know if we can recharge this air charm, which is why I've been using it sparingly. But I don't know why I said it like that. So don't read too much into it. This broke while I was um, mining the other day. It, it didn't do its job anymore. It seems to be doing its job again now, so that's fine. When you are flying, things take longer to do. It's the same as swimming. Also, what... <laughs> Probably why it broke. Okay, that's. Uh, I was getting really confused, but this is okay. We have managed to do at least a little bit. Um, now our access hatch needs to go underneath here, and then down to here. Okay, so just dig a hole. Uh, I'll work it out off camera. But what we can do. Is yeah, bat. Bats can't fly, but I can. <laughs> right? And what? Why are we lagging? Stop this. Turn this on, and now I can fly again, right? So that's all dandy and good. I think we are going down this line. So. I have boots on, despite being a one pixel tall bat. In or out of hell. Go this way. This is only a temporary access hatch, is the other thing. So, I don't really feel it hugely necessary to go to the effort of making it accessible, which seems like an important part of access hatch, or indeed look good. I don't know why my back tick has stopped working. Sorry. Excuse me? Why did everything it's what's happening? I I may have to fix some mod related issues. <laughs> Go away. Why is that a function? <laughs> Who needs that function? Um incidentally, everything ME related is implicitly connected by cables, right? So what I'm gonna do is in theory if I remove this this we save a little bit of cabling we can put this terminal here now we have all we need now is for this to actually be in the right place i told you this is wasn't wasn't going to be where i put that uh, and i was not lying because it is not where i'm going to put that i'm actually going to put it in the access panel here light this up lest we become where of baddies. So that now tells this ME storage system that this draw controller is a place where we can retrieve and put items. And if we have a look in here, there it is! We've done it. It only took an episode and a half. We should have done that such a long time ago. If we can do we can put this in here. Now we have 69. We can take it out. We have 64 in our hand. If we go over here, we will see that there are five in here. If we put that back in there, there it is again. Finally! Someone let me out of my cage. We finally have a way of storing. Now, please observe that we can only store things in here that we already know how to store in here. For example, we can put glass in here even though our glass is empty because we know where to put the glass. We've already made a drawer for it. But uh, quartz glass, we can't put it in. There's nowhere for it to go. So that's going to be um, a very important thing in the future. But now that we have this cable system, course this could stay here but i'm probably going to move this off camera in one of those zen episodes that we like to see so much of um because this is going to start taking a bunch of a look at it's all i mean this is running out of energy already so we already need to hook this up to the power system that we've got downstairs we're probably going to have to make that power system even better to accommodate this so this is going to switch off at some point which is one of the reasons why i wanted my core crafting stuff to be available here because if this switches off and we don't have the stuff available in drawers or something like that. 
we lose access to it completely. So you can make a disk drive which stores you know, all of the stuff that you wanted on storage cells, i.e. disks. But when it loses power, all the stuff that you have stored on disk is not available. If you do it this way, first of all, you get to make really cool library-like constructions and monstrosities. I had a bit of a dream about this as well, by the way. I've been dreaming about this for several days, and not in the in the metaphorical way. I mean, literally, I've had a couple of dreams in the past week where I've been finally getting Minecraft stuff done. And yesterday I had a dream where we had a really dark sort of a cryo chamber where we stored loads of things that were that had to be kept really cold. I can't even tell you what they were because you know what dreams are like. But that was that's one of the things I want to do in this series is to have cool sort of thematically relevant storage areas and 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 a big base with lots of. Corridors everywhere. The size of the corridors we had in that place was massive um, in the dream. So that is step one to actually having all of our stuff stored in the drawers. And incidentally, if we were to ever put more cobble than we had, uh, we would it would just void because it would know that it could go in there and then this would delete it. So it all works out perfectly as you'd expect. The other thing we can now start doing is getting this to know how to craft things for us which is a little bit further on in the future because we have to teach it how to craft things for us which means we need a couple more interfaces to allow us to but the first thing we need to do is hook this up to proper power get this all into the right place we're going to need way more of these and of course we have these now so we can create so the final thing i want to do then on this emmy system for right now apart from whacking my microphone which i already moved so i didn't do that uh craft Thing terminal <coughs> is this calculation processor, which is one of these, this, redstone, the silicon one, and the silicon. This is the first thing I think that we will automate, so I'll be able to show you how that works too, which I'm looking forward to. Please. Uh, what? Drive a calculation press. Your Certus Quartz Crystal. Drive a calculation. Oh, logic, what? Can't be helped with saying that these look all exactly the same to me. That's not prejudiced because I am not, you know, designed to understand the difference between <laughs> very geometrical shapes that I generally don't understand uh silicon and this finally this this and this and now we can upgrade this the other thing that we needed was a crafting table which is dead easy um give me some you can type as well by the way wood and that synchronizes with that so if you want to oh, we'll show you in a minute that back why? Why? Where's my... When my things moved around when I pressed a button I thought did something else. It makes me sad. Um, that is going to be our crafting table there. And then... Uh, crafting... Crafting terminal. Never type on camera. Where did my terminal go? It's still there. I saw it try to get picked up. Did you see that? It's floating towards me, but refusing to be picked up. Absolutely outrageous. I'll be writing to my MP about this. You mark my words. Now we can craft. So if I were to show you, for example, put everything away. Um, we don't have anywhere to put most of this stuff. In fact, there we go. Anything that will go away will go away. So the silicone went, went, just went away, which is really good. Uh, all that stuff in here for now. And then that, you can stay Grand. Um, if we wanted to make a crafting table, for example, crafting table, all we needed to do, all we would need to do is, how is it this hard to find a crafting table? What? <laughs> Does Minecraft not have a crafting table anymore? Craft. Wood. What are the uses of wood? 
Might be that it's just overlapping a little bit. Crafting table. Press this plus button. So this can move things out of there into here, which is really good. Um, so, and if I, there we go. This is getting a little bit confusing. Probably that. Standard keep. Let's try that. Um, this will craft from here and take the stuff that I need out of here. I'm not going to create it, but you can see if I cross this off, 164 now. So I can use this directly from here. Um, can you type that? Crafting. There it is. If I press plus here, this will take the four wood from here and put it in there. You can't see that because this is synchronized to that. So this is filtering everything in there. Table. So it's not showing you that I have uh, less wood than I did, but there's 160, there's 64. So if we wanted to make something from here and we don't quite have the stuff for it, for example, if I wanted uh, something like, oh, there's stuff over here. Let's try these. So if I wanted to make an annihilation core and I didn't have enough, it would try and move the items, but then it wouldn't actually have any of them. But you notice that the difference is in this, that you can always press the plus button. Whereas on a real crafting table, it would only be able to take from your inventory, which means it reads your inventory, which means it highlights in red. So in order to know whether you can make a thing or not, you have to actually try to do so. Uh, I can't obviously make none of this because none of the stuff is that is necessary is in the system. But we can start putting stuff in the system finally by having more draw controllers that connect up the rest of the drawers, finding places for all the stuff, because we've got all these drawers available anyway, right? So we should be able to put stuff in them. Um, which I will start doing off camera. And then when we come back, I will have a little bit more to show you, I guess. So let's um, well, let's show you. If I put everything that I can in here. I can put those in. I can put that in, that in, that in, that in, that in, that, that, that. Oh, it's run out of power, you see? Ran out of power, but I have plenty of coal. That's one coal. I want, I want more coal. <laughs> Give me more coal. Uh, and I can keep this going for now. But that's going to drain a lot of power. The more things you have attached to it, the more power it's going to drain. I don't think we need this anymore, because I think you can connect that directly to that. But just for now, um, that is available. So we can put this away, we can put this away, we can put this away. We can't put that away. We can't put a lot of this stuff away. So off camera in the next while, I will fill up these stacks with places for all of our ME stuff to go. How does it end, by the way? You can see where it ends because the locks don't work anymore. So it's over there. So half of that stuff needs reworking. This is a good one. This is mystical agriculture. I'm thinking maybe we'll have more drawers for flowery stuff over there in the greenhouse. So let's empty this. I'll come back with some stuff done and then we can work on the next step for seven minutes. So uh, yeah, back in a tick. Just a quickie to show you how easy this was. Uh, I wanted leadstone, so I typed it in leadstone and I had some because I put it in the system. And then I pressed R on here and it gave me the recipe and I pressed plus on here and I can just make more in this terminal because all the stuff is available in the stacks. I can have as many as I want. So what I'm going to do is take the power from down there and bring it up here again. Going to be temporary until I can be bothered doing it properly, um, but that's going to take a lot more of this cable, a lot more leadstone cable, and probably a whole new room, a whole new area for me to do that in. So what I'm just doing off camera right now, just so that you know, apart from getting myself killed by going to the spider place, is basically going to take that from over there and run it along there with that. And, and hopefully that will help me join up. I could just leave it that way, quite frankly, but I don't think I want to do that because... Ugh. But also... Uh maybe Ugh. actually i have i am inspired okay uh, let me come back and i will show you what i've done so here's what i did here's the area i looked up there and i went ooh there's nothing better than walkways and gantries in a proper underground base right everywhere needs these sorts of things now uh, ideally this would be way more impressive and it would be several blocks wide looking over a cave the size of a city but in, uh, who's got time for that so i pulled across the uh, the leadstone all the way over here plugged it into there and put an elevator just to get up and down real quick so now we've got a constant supply of energy into here i don't think i need this energy acceptor quite honestly but i also think that it's possible that it can accept more energy than um 
just the ME controller there. But if I did this, so now it's gone offline, I can't use this at all. Um, we do need this ME controller. That's what that does. Apart from the fact that there's no power left. Um, uh, and now, ta-da, it's all back online again. Uh, the word dank was in there because if you remember some time ago, I was going to make a dank null. This is really helpful for when you are mining because it, it stores lots of items and voids the ones you don't want. I have none of this. So I want to do this, but I have none of this. And then, um, if you recall, I actually probably still have my red panes of glass. Red stained glass, for sure. Glass panes. Uh, I don't know if that is necessary for this. Red stained glass pane. Oh, want to do that. Yeah, we can make some of those. Great. Um, and then this is easy, except for the fact we need blocks of coal. But ta-da! One, two, three, four. I think we need 20 of these. We have more than enough coal, right? We can't store the block of coal in there because we haven't got nowhere to store blocks of coals in the ME system, but now we can make a whole bunch of these. It will pull from your inventory as well, but uh, if you make one, it won't pull the rest from your inventory. So uh, if it's shift click, it did not work. Uh, shift click. It doesn't work because um, it, it basically can't do that. I don't know. It's, the integration is not ideal. Oops. Go, and then I should be able to all this here and then one two four and then that's five of those and then this is five of those you have to take the thing out of the middle apparently fine i mean whatever there's our dank null let's have a look at this then give me that back i don't know why i put it on my third slot <laughs> it's literally the worst place for it if you uh just right click it does nothing if you shift right click you get an interface here's me and here's the dank null if i put cobblestone in here i can now place cobblestone down from in the world from this and when i run out it won't let me right, i think you have to have at least one left is that what you're telling me uh do not extract oh click if you click placement mode control click to change extraction mode i don't know what that is um but i have immediately gone and realized why you don't put that on clear. if i pick this up it's not in the inventory it's actually in here i have two if i were to do this it is in my inventory, but if I get rid of them all and then let them be picked up again, <clears throat> now they're all in here. So this way, there's a maximum stack size of 128, I believe, in the dank null. Uh, and then there is upgrades to the dank null. There's several, mark, mark a million, right? Times 54 slots, hold up to, oh, 1,152 per slot. So why did you... Then why why I don't know what I did oh I, I extract oh, apparently you can just pick it up uh control click to change extraction mode extract all but 16 64 extract all do not extract extract all but one placement mode place all but one all dictionary disabled I see uh this says 128 but this says we'll hold up to 128 per slot and this says Wait, what? Okay, so we would probably want something like the Mark IV, which is going to be a bunch of diamonds and cyan. But uh, the thing is, they don't. Well, they do upgrade. You can take the previous one and use one fewer of these, but the Mark IV there. Uh, did I want. I did say Mark IV, which is gold, but Mark III is coal. Oh, it's the diamond. Mark V is the diamond. So I could probably quite easily just upgrade. I probably could have done this first, actually, and it would have been nicer. Because then we wouldn't have needed all that red stuff. But whatever. The yellow is going to be the difficult thing. Uh, I suspect over here I have an amount of yellow dye or something. Yes, we've got a lot of yellow. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. So, we can do this again. Coal. Is it always coal? Thank no. Four blocks of coal. Yeah, so make four blocks. So we want 20 more of these. <laughs> uh, one, two. I have a lot of coal. When I'm mining, if you wanted to watch the off-camera stuff, quote-unquote off-camera stuff, um, you will see that I use my pick in order to do things like coal, diamonds, emeralds, etc. At least when I manage it. <laughs> Doing horribly wrong. Um, yellow stain. Yellow. 
yellow glass. Um, and the reason is that as I put look on that, basically. Um, and so... I just want to use my quite clear. The glass. Plenty of glass, why don't you just... Um, if I manage it, then I end up with the fortune being applied to the thing, and I get way more stuff, so obviously coal. I'll put that in there, that's the annoying thing. Need to fix that. Uh, coal is a it's a gem type thing, so I got way more of it from using my pick, which means we've got a ludicrous amount of it, which means we can do this. Uh, dank, no. <laughs> doesn't need a semicolon, you're right. So, one... We have to do this for now. When we put that in our AE system, it won't be a problem. Uh, we want to... 2, 3, 4, 5. Great. So I could probably just chuck this one away. <laughs> I don't need it anymore. Let's do this. Um, and it's going to be our... What, 5 dank no. What, 4 dank no. Perfect. So this is better than this. I mean, this one... Ugh. Redstone is theoretically more expensive than... Gold right now, but I don't care. Go away. Perfect. So let's uh, see if I click on this. Look at all the spaces we've got. We can put that in there like that. We can get even more out. I'm not particularly worried about having um, wasted cobblestone. <laughs> you don't mind me saying so? And then we've got 192 in there now, see? That. Now we've got 256. And of course, if we were to pick up this... Uh, you have to tell it that you want to pick it up, right? We do that. Now if we... Oh, shift scroll wheel? Shift scroll wheel now chooses between cobblestone and stone. And if we middle click, it will select the thing that we are pointing at, provided we have it in our dank null. So I can go around and uh, place all of this stone just by using the dank null as a little stone repository. Now stone doesn't automatically appear in the world, so we're not going to pick it up by accident, but we can refill it every so often just by grabbing it out of here. How do we grab it out of here? We need to automate stuff. So in the next episode, thank you for watching, we are going to start automating a few things using this AE system, which is now hooked up. If I choose to play this off camera in between episodes, then when we come back, you will probably notice that everything has moved around and changed. But if I don't, everything's going to be in the same place. It really depends when I continue recording. But until I do that, I hope you've enjoyed this episode and I hope that you will join me for the next one. Until then, I'll see you.